them. I saw Glace Bay Miners Museum at Neptune Theater yesterday. It's kind of hard to go wrong with that play because the writing is fantastic. fantastic. I think it landed particularly well with that audience mm -hmm. um, because it's Britain. set in Nova Scotia. Yeah. There wasn't anything not wonderful about the cast. Francine de Shepper had this um, contagious energy on stage. Um, Gil Garrett plays uh, bagpipes beautifully in the show live on stage. Nice. And the fiddle. Nice. And sings. And is a fantastic actor. So I was just like, who are you, crazy man? <laughs> Getting with all these skills all over the place. But David Francis, who plays Grandpa, doesn't say a word in the show. I swear to God, when that man's face lights up, your heart is warmed. <laughs> At the very end, everyone is back on the stage and delivers lines that they've said previously. And I think that's because it's a memory play. And there's something about that that I don't... I don't like. Mm -hmm. Only because it seems too staged, almost. Okay. And there's something about the isolation of the character at the end that really highlights highlights her insanity. Mm -hmm. Or and some people don't think that it's insanity. But it she's all alone in this house on a hill by the ocean. And I think seeing everyone together again di didn't really... Kind of ruined the end moment for you? It ruined where she's left. Yeah. For me. And that's not a criticism of Wendy Lil, it's just, it's, it's, there's something about it that I don't, it just doesn't seem true. Yeah. The overall look of the show was, was completely fluid. It, it, it nothing was out of place. Mm -hmm. And sort of, that's sort of the sight of the director is being able to see all of it and bring it, sew it together almost, mm -hmm. and it, it was seamless. And there were some really touching moments and images um, that, I mean, they're, they're sticking with me now. They're, they're beautiful, and um, the cast did them well, the lighting was perfect, the costumes were perfect. I just, some of those moments will really stick with me, and I, I hope they get photos of them. They probably already have, I probably just haven't seen them yet, but, but, there was a whole lot of magic happening on the stage. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a fantastic show. <laughs> the deadline for Nova Scotia Talent Trust, which gives out scholarships for further education in the arts, is coming up this Friday, March 1st, and that's for spring and summer studies. The Canadian College of Performing Arts is doing their national audition tour. And they will be in Halifax at Halifax Dance on March 4th. So that's a Monday. That's this coming Monday. Uh, they will be there. Uh, auditions start at 1 p.m. So you want to get there to pre-register um, ahead of time. You can register there. By pre-register, I mean prior to 1 p.m. The Sand family will be playing at Alderney Landing Theatre from tonight, February 27th, until March 1st. March 1st! The Glace Bay Miners Museum is playing at the Neptune Theatre. Uh, that's running until March 17th in Fountain Hall. So get your tickets at the Neptune box office. Finally, we have The Death of Me and My Narrator, a double bill at TAG. Uh, it's playing until March 2nd, so this is the last week. Uh, yesterday! Uh, yeah! No, I can't Oops. yet. No, do them again. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Oh yeah! I might not even need it to get. 